Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 21st annual commencement of Niqua Valley High School. My name is Arya Naluri. I'm the president of student council and a proud member of the class of 2020. Now, please stand and join us in honoring America as the Niqua Valley Band performs our national anthem. Now, please welcome the principal of Niqua Valley, Dr. Lance Fuhrer. Good afternoon and welcome. One of the most important things about today is giving you the opportunity to hear from your classmates. This virtual ceremony is not intended to provide you the closure we seek on your behalf for completing this part of your journey. Today is about hearing the common voices that represent a small part of your individual experience. We are a part of one audience and today we take the time to listen. I hope what you see and hear is done so through the lens of the last 12 years, not just the last 12 weeks. Stories about face masks and toilet paper may capture your observations now. What should shine far brighter is that in the last dozen years, you have lived only a prelude of what lies ahead. This class, this school and this community can give you strength for the journey ahead. Connections build confidence, and that is a powerful light to shine forward. It is now my privilege to introduce our senior reflections address, your classmate of the class of 2020, Sam Garabedian. The last line of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald reads, So we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Now before any of you start freaking out or falling asleep, remember that you're done with sophomore year English. You can relax. You don't have to write any more in-class essays. Well, at least not for now. The meaning captured within this last line applies to the situation we find ourselves in today. While Gatsby's greatest flaw may have been his inability to move beyond his past, I challenge all of you to reflect upon and embrace the past experiences you've had here at Niqua Valley. Whether you've attended Niqua all four years or you were the new kid and you joined us along the way, let us look back so we can understand and appreciate where we have come from. High school has been a journey and an exploration of our identities, our interests, and our passions. But perhaps most importantly are the relationships we've developed. Remember the friends, the impactful teachers, 
the role models. Remember your freshman advisory classmates who nervously sat with you your first day of high school. Remember who stood by you that freezing winter morning when a culinary arts class burnt a fajita and set off the fire alarm during a first period. Remember the kind upperclassman who gave you a ride home that one day when you were stuck after school. Remember who you called when your car was towed from the Remax parking lot during the SAT day. Remember who sat with you watching Dr. McBride's pep rally performance that went viral on Instagram. Remember those with whom you shared every laugh, every cry, every great moment, and every low moment too. These are the moments that make us who we are today. Cherish the people introduced to you during your high school voyage and bring them along as you embark on your own journey going forward. In short, there were countless experiences from August 2016 to today. Awards and titles, victories and losses, hopefulness and tragedies. But let us not forget, we experienced it all together. Take the relationships you've developed and hold them close to your heart. As we inevitably go our separate ways, continue to be the amazing people you all know each other to be. And if you ever need anything, no matter what your post high school plans may be, there are hundreds of your Wildcat brothers and sisters just one text or Snapchat away. I have loved sharing this journey with you for the past four years. Now go and seek out new endeavors to pursue. Thank you for everything, Nikwa Valley, and best of luck out there to all of you, the Nikwa class of 2020. Now, please enjoy this performance of Go Light Your World by senior choir members.
At this time, please welcome our classmate, Brendan McCluskey, to deliver the Senior Academic Address. You can learn a lot about a person based on their shoes. Polished loafers radiate professionalism and decorum. Birkenstocks suggest comfort and a carefree attitude. And Crocs, well, Crocs are complicated. Look, the point is our shoes offer a window into our personality. They offer a glimpse into who we are as people and what we stand for. We each received our first pair of metaphorical shoes nearly 18 years ago in a world where landlines were the norm and digital photography was unheard of. In our time, we've traversed unprecedented change, everything from the rise of smartphones to toilet paper shortages. We've learned that nothing is impossible. After all, the Cubs won the World Series, Dr. McBride got over a million views on Instagram, and Shashank was crowned homecoming king. Each of these experiences left their own mark on our shoes, and we continue to carry those marks with us today. As for where our shoes will take us next, I can't say. I mean, after a couple months at home, I would assume the barbershop, but who knows? After today, each of our paths diverge, with each of us headed towards a unique destination. No matter what, though, I can assure you that what lies ahead is complex, challenging, unknown, multifaceted, difficult, stressful, arduous, hard, confusing, and hopefully, on top of all of that, a little fun. The fact is, the future is daunting. It always has been and it always will be. But that doesn't mean we aren't ready for it. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at your shoes. For the last four years, we shared a journey that tore, scratched, and scuffed our shoes. But each of those marks reveals something about us. When I look at your shoes, I see people that aren't afraid to work hard. People who strive to help others. And people who embrace change. Our time at Niqua has toughened the soles of our shoes. It's taught us to be resilient and perseverant, and it's given us a strong foundation of skills capable of taking on any challenge. So, Niqua Valley Class of 2020, take one more look at your shoes. I I'm serious, do it. Because as soon as you walk across this stage, or your living room, or wherever you might be, they might look a little bit different and that's not a bad thing. Thank you and congratulations, Wildcats. Now I would like to welcome Indian Prairie School District Superintendent, Dr. Karen Sullivan. On behalf of Indian Prairie District 204, I congratulate you, Niqua Valley Class of 2020. I know that the end of your senior year was not what any of us expected. I, like you, am graduating, so to speak. This is my last time addressing a graduating class from Niqua Valley as superintendent. And like you, I was hoping that things would return to normal by now. This is not how any of us expected to celebrate your accomplishment, yet here we are. We are all now part of history. Yes, a history that we would prefer not to be a part of, but a historical moment nonetheless. So what can we do about it? We can take note of it, we can learn from it, get clarity about what is really important, be resilient, become stronger because of that. And you will, because Niqua Valley has taught you those things. We are so proud of all of you, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish as you move into the new chapter of your life. Remember with pride that you will always be a wildcat and that you will always be welcome at Niqua Valley. We love when our students come back and share the great things that they are doing. Stay connected. You are now the latest role models for our students. So as superintendent and on behalf of the Indian Prairie District 204 Board of Education, I proudly endorse the Niqua Valley Class of 2020. Congratulations. <laughs>